Harewa, Yorubas don't want an Igbo man to become the president, but they want Igbo man to be part of Nigeria. They don't want them to be a president of Nigeria, but they want to, them to be part of Nigeria. Is that not a ridiculous? What an irony. Yeah. Fine. If they cannot be presidents, let them go and have their own country, no matter how Una doing and divide or waiting Una must do. Man must do this thing together as a neighbors. That is why people must be very careful the way they pursue it. Others are watching, acting as if they don't even want to stay alone. That's the true talk. Then no election campaign voting should be carried out in Igbo land if they don't want the uh, Igbos. You want them to be part of Nigeria, but you don't want them to have somebody from that extraction to become the president of the country. Just like a, a, in one uh, article that Obatso just said, it pains him to his bone marrow that uh, when people say, oh, Igbo man can never be a president because uh, they are agitating for Biafra. That is bad statement, and they call us one Nigeria. Is presidency for some regions and not for a particular people? Why? Secession is the edict. There no one Nigeria. There is no one Nigeria. Obasanjo, when you were the president, you ensured that a Chukba or Kadigbo was removed as a Senate president. All the successive Igbo Senate presidents were removed by you. Obasanjo has the opportunity to choose Igbo man as president. He preferred Yaradua and even Jonathan as VP instead of a Igbo man. So what are you clamoring for now? What you refused to do when you were in power and now you want others to do it is so un unbelievable. Thank you for your understanding. He also forgot that uh, he lost uh, Bakasi to Pobia and instead of supporting Igbos to be relevant and make name for himself, in Nigeria, he opted for Yaradua and always making confusing statements as we are not even watching the political situation of the country. Yes, why some people don't even want anything, they don't want to have anything to do with the Igbos. Meanwhile, the same northerners, they don't want, and the people from the south, they don't want a Namli Kano to be released. They don't want them to be released. The same people will tell you, ah, so they don't know how to vote. By the time they come to vote, they say, oh, they are too tribalistic. They know what they want. Anytime, when Buhari was in power, anytime they hear that, say, oh, Nam Kano was about to be released, they all come out and began to shout and began to say, no, it must not be released. And meanwhile, the atrocities happening in their own region is second to none. It is. They will tell you, oh, Igbo land is a landlocked area. Is it your own? Oh, if Igbos leave, they will not survive. They don't have this, they don't have that. And when you talk about the economic hub of this country, it's coming from that area. They say they want to go. They say they will. Some people say if they leave, they will suffer. They will leave Nigeria. If they leave Nigeria, they will suffer. Is this your suffer? Is it your suffering? No, now. And meanwhile, Obasanjo is there saying one thing, and people are saying, no, you can't say that because. Even while you were there, you never even wanted them to be there. Hmm. <laughs> well, so listen, friends. Through this Judas or through this Jesus, the forgiveness of sin is offered. Let everybody have that spirit of forgiveness. But uh, this man was preaching that forgiveness. They say, "Wow, how dare him?" Peter B. When he was a uh, eulogizing, go on. They say, "How dare he?" Praise him, same man that said. Uh, Put them in this mess. If some people are saying such, they should give them their Biafra and let them go. Because we call ourselves one Nigeria. You now know uh you now be cheating, you cannot be there and be cheating others. Yeah, that's it. They want Igbo uh as part of Nigeria, but they don't want them to be president of Nigeria. Why is Obasanjo in and another bread? Why is he talking? Having left the seat of power, he should have addressed this as the president of Nigeria. I see this as hypocrisy at all levels. Why push the buck when you are no longer relevant? This issue of non-Igbo presidency, if not addressed, will now one day end the entirety called Nigeria. However, it is commendable to that someone in the 
stature of a former president is reminding or remembering to address this topic now i come in peace you are right to so niger will soon end he will soon end hey this one he let it get he gets as he be say he gets as he be oh he gets as he be he get why why is he talking now hmm Eagles, they don't have a um, seaport. Create one for them. They say, he said, no, there are no many. When I see some other African countries, two million, three million people, yeah. some of them say, are not even up to one million. And yet they have a, they have a, they have a country, and they are doing their own thing. But Nigeria or the Igbos or other ethnic. Um, other ethnicity they have a they have a more than that number so guys uh, let's say your opinion and have your take on this